Good morning. Before we get started reading, I just want to remind you about something we talked about before we got out. Um, I don't know if you remember, but we talked about worrying. And does it do any good to worry? No. Does worrying ever solve any problems? No. And we came up with a class motto. Don't worry about it. Pray about it. Because we can always pray and talk to God. And God lives where? In our heart. And at any time of the day, not just before we eat or go to bed, we can always stop, close our eyes, and say a quick prayer. So if you ever feel yourself starting to worry about things, or you hear your parents worrying, or your grandparents, remind yourself or remind them, don't worry about it. Pray about it. Because worrying does not fix anything. But you can always talk to God and pray. And he's listening. Yesterday we read chapter 2 of Junie B. Jones Smells Something Fishy. And again, let's look at the cover of the book. It's typical Junie B. Uh, she's got a fish on a leash with a collar. My goodness. And we know that it is going to be pet day at her school. And she was not happy because she found out she could not take her dog Tickle. And so she wants another pet. And when we last read chapter 2, we left with this picture. And Junie was whispering something to her grandmother. Her grandmother had said, I know, why don't you take my bird Twitter? And was that a good idea? Not to Junie. She told her grandmother, I have a secret. I do not like Twitter. And why didn't she like Twitter? Well, she held up her finger. What was so important about her finger? That's right. Twitter once pecked her finger. And Junie said it was for no reason, but we know now it was. She had put a potato on the bird's head and pretended like it was a hat. And if you can imagine, a potato's pretty heavy. So to put that on top of a tiny bird, it's not going to make them very happy. So she does not like Twitter, but then... Her and her grandmother sat there on the couch together, and then her grandmother said, Well, I don't have any other pets to offer you unless you can figure out how to catch those crazy old raccoons that keep breaking into my garbage can every night. And Jeannie sat there for a minute. And although the grandmother was just joking, she didn't really mean it, it gave Jeannie an idea. Oh, no. What in the world? So let's see what Junie's got up to now. This is chapter number, and say the number you see, just like we do in the classroom. Three. Chapter three. The Boss is the name of it. Before I get started, I still have my friend Shep here, as always. Shep is always with us, isn't he, B? Yeah. He's been here for years. And we still have Bob, the boxer. And today, Miss Piggy decided to take a break. She probably needed to get fancied up. You know how she is. So, we have Belle with us today. And I love Beauty and the Beast. So, Belle's one of my favorites, just like you guys. So, let's get started reading. On Saturday, I jumped out of bed. I was thrilled. And I ran straight to the garage. I grabbed my dad's fishing net. I zoomed right into the kitchen. Mom was already in there eating cereal. Mom, Mom, I yelled. Guess what? I have this fishing net. Guess, guess, guess why I have it. But I couldn't wait for her to guess. Because today is the day I'm going to catch that crazy old raccoon. Mom closed her eyes and shook her head. No, Junie B, no. We've already talked about this, remember? We discussed the raccoon at dinner last night. I smiled. I know. I know we discussed the raccoon. Mom gave me a confused look. But Dad and I said no, Jeannie B, she said. We said you could not catch a raccoon. Raccoons have sharp claws and teeth, remember? Of course I remember. That's how come I got this net, Mom. See, 
See how long the handle is? Now, I'll be safe. Don't worry about me. But Mom just looked at me and shook her head and said, N-O. N-O spells no. I was furious. I stomped my foot. Y-E-S. Yes, I said back to her. I have to. Mom, I have to. I have to catch a raccoon for pet day. Grandma Miller even said I could. And she's your mom, so she is the boss of you. And just then a miracle happened. And it's called My Grandma Helen Miller walked right in the back door. Mom turned and looked up at her. Oh, look. Here she is, the boss of me, Mom said. But I could tell Mom was grouchy. I ran straight over to Grandma, so happy. Grandma Miller! Grandma Miller! Grandma Miller! I am so glad to see you because... Mom said I can't catch a raccoon, and so now you have to make her let me. Mm-hmm. I crossed my arms and stood back to give Grandma room. Okay, go ahead. And then I waited and waited and waited. But Grandma didn't do anything. Okay, Grandma Miller, go ahead. Only just then I saw something that made me happier. And it's called, My Grandma Was Wearing Her Fishing Hat. My eyes popped right out of my head and my mouth flew open. Grandma, you're wearing your fishing hat, so you must be going to the lake today. Quickly, I ran to the front door. Hey, is Grandpa going to the lake too? Is he out there? Is he in his truck? I looked outside. Hey, yeah, there he is. Grandma, he's out there. He's in the truck. I opened the door. Grandpa Miller! Grandpa Frank Miller, good news. I can come to the lake with you because there are lots of raccoons to catch there, I bet. Even more than at your house. I was so excited. <laughs> and here's Judy still in her pajamas. And you can see her grandpa sitting in the car and Judy's got that net in her hand. Boy, she's got a plan, doesn't she? Here, Grandma. Hold my net. I'll put my clothes on and be back in a jiffy. Jiffy is the nickname for Speedy Quick. Grandma Miller grabbed me by my PJs as I started to run away. Honey, wait. No, 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 she said. I'm afraid you can't come with us today. We're meeting some friends at the lake, and in fact, we're already late. We just stopped by to borrow your dad's ice chest. I just stood there. I felt pretty crummy inside. But I have to come, Grandma. I have to. Or else, how will I catch a raccoon today? Grandma bent down real close to me and said, Yes, well, um... You'll see. That's that's another thing, Junie. About the raccoon. I was just kidding when I said that, Junie. I never dreamed you would take me seriously. And just then my nose started to sniffle. Well, you dreamed wrong, Helen, I said. Grandma hugged me real tight. Oh, come on now. Don't cry, she said. There are lots of other animals you can catch for pet day. Animals that are much nicer and easier to deal with than a raccoon. <sighs> no, no, no there are not. There's not, Grandma. You're just saying that. You're just trying to trick me. You're just trying to cheer me up. Then I just stood there and stood there for what felt like a whole lot of minutes. 
Because what if she wasn't tricking me? What if there really was lots of other animals? Hmm. I took a deep breath. Okay. Fine. Tell me about these other animals. But this better be good. Grandma gave me a big smile. You wait right here, she said. Then she ran out to her truck and back again. She was hiding something behind her back. Junie B., I've got someone who would love to meet you. Close your eyes and I'll put them in your hand. I was so excited. Suddenly, my stomach had butterflies in it. What is it, Grandma? What is it? Will it tickle me? Will I like it? Hey, will it bite me? Will it lick me? Will it, Grandma? Will it, huh? It won't will it, right? And then I closed my eyes and held my hand out. I was so excited. Grandma made sure all my fingers were wide open. And then she placed the surprise right in the middle of my hand. There it was on the palm of my hand. I couldn't wait to open my eyes and see what it was. I hope you enjoyed chapter three. Tomorrow we will find out what's in Junie's hand. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. It's time to start our day. We're here to work and play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. I hope you are good. I really, really miss you. And I know that you are being great for your parents. And I hope you're enjoying our reading time together. And I hope you're also enjoying the work that I sent home. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow.